Often wires resemble roots or branches to rabbits, and this is why they love to chew them down. Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about innate behaviours in rabbits and why they have evolved with the species. Often innate behaviours such as digging and chewing can get our little fur babies into trouble as they will often chew or dig at things they shouldn't. But as they are instinctive within the species, it is better to try and direct the behaviour to a more appropriate source, such as an enrichment, rather than try and stop your bunny from displaying the behaviour altogether. Innate behaviours are instinctive to the species. Babies instinctively grabbing hold of their parent's finger, spiders spinning their webs, birds building nests, and rabbits digging to make their burrows are all examples of innate behaviours within the animal kingdom. Some more examples of innate behaviours in rabbits include, but are not limited to, chinning. Rabbits have scent glands located under their chin and to either side of their bum. They will often mark their territory by rubbing their chin over objects, people and their environment. Another way rabbits use their scent glands is to leave scent-covered poos around their environment and even spray urine to mark their territory or to ward off predators. The last two behaviours are uncommon in neutered and littered trained rabbits. To help promote chinning and not spraying or pooping, I often leave new objects into their enclosures or move the layout around slightly so they have to remark everything with their chin. Thumping. When rabbits sense or see danger, they will often make a loud thump with one of their back feet. This thump is to warn others in their colony that danger is near and they should retreat back to safety. This behaviour has evolved with the species as a form of communication to keep them safe. Rabbits don't have to be taught how to thump, but it is biologically wired into them. Chewing. Just like digging, chewing would also be used to create homes for rabbits in the wild. Rabbits can easily gnaw through thick branches and roots in order to clear their path. Domestic rabbits have little branches or roots to clear, but there's still an innate behavioural drive to want to clear root-looking objects from their path. And this is where wires come into it. Often wires resemble roots or branches to rabbits, and this is why they love to chew them down. In their mind, they're helping to keep the warren clear and tidy. To help promote this behaviour and save all my wires, I often give the boys bunny-safe twigs and branches to gnaw down. This not only directs the behaviour to a more bunny-appropriate source, but the wood also helps them wear down their ever-growing teeth. Digging. In the wild, rabbits live underground in complex warrens. Rabbits would have to dig to make these warrens. Because of this, every rabbit has an innate drive to dig, although some domestic rabbits display this behaviour way more than others. If your rabbit is a digger, I would suggest offering a deep dirt box they can dig into. Just make sure you use pesticide-free dirt to keep your bunny safe. Flopping. A rabbit flopping over indicates they are extremely happy and feel comfortable in their environment. If your rabbit flops in front of you, this is a really good sign they feel comfortable around you. Rabbits only flop in environments they feel secure in, and it is another indicator of happiness. Rabbits will innately do this when they feel comfortable and safe. Binkying. When wild rabbits run for predators, they will suddenly dart in different motions to confuse their prey. But younger wild rabbits and domestic pet rabbits commonly use this behaviour when they're feeling extremely happy or playful. To help your bunnies display this behaviour, try allowing them safe and supervised outdoor time in a secure run, or try allowing them access to a room they aren't usually allowed in to go in and explore. Kicking. Rabbits have evolved to use their powerful back feet as a form of defence against predators and even against each other if needs be. Rabbits will often kick out and run off if something spooks them from behind. There are so many more innate behaviours that rabbits display. For more information on rabbit behaviour and communication, don't forget to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.